yeah. And then that hoodlum Netflix showed up and changed the game <laughs> for everybody. Well, that's a whole nother thing. I mean, there's a whole misnomer with Netflix that people are making money on Netflix. Studios yeah. are making money on Netflix. But sure. uh, I mean, I had a movie that was on Netflix and... <laughs> We got something like ten thousand dollars and it was downloaded like a hundred and fifty, two hundred thousand times, but we just had a flat fee. So I would hope that someday I mean, I, I don't know the mystery of Netflix to tell you the truth, but it would be nice if they found a way to help indie filmmakers or genre. I'm I'm not a fan, by the way, of indie filmmaking. I'm more of a fan of genre indie filmmaking, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not really interested in making, uh, you know, art you know, house films, All right. art house films. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather go back to the day of making, uh, 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 you know, horror films and, uh, um, interesting, you know, fa- sci-fi, sci-fi films. That, my favorite, uh, there's my favorite two, uh, titles I remember in the video stores and I'll never forget these titles because they were so brilliantly done. The artwork was great. Sorority babes in the slime rama bowl <laughs> right, right. And assault of the killer bimbos. And, yeah. you saw, and you saw three girls like in the air like this, like it was just, <laughs> and they rented like water. Like right. I, I, every day they would be out all the time. It's, you don't, you don't really see them anymore. I mean, you see the crazy Sharknados and sci-fi channel movies and things, but you don't, you don't, you don't see, but those are bigger budget movies too. You know, those, yeah, those Sharknado's are, not done for like a, a, you know, 50 grand. Like that's a, that's a big budget no, <laughs> film. It, it, in, the, in the scope, in yeah. the scope of what we're doing. Absolutely. Right. right. So, 